happy to be here. It's a fresh start for Pete. Let's go. I'm honestly happy to be alive. There's got so much going on. Oh, my God. He's Mr. Workaholic, isn't he? Can we do that one more time? A time for new challenges. Wow. To be a lead hole in a movie is huge. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. <laughs> With the support of his children. I love you, Dad. I love you more than anything in the world. And Emily by his side. You know, you are just gorge. He's looking forward to an exciting future. <laughs> They're expecting a baby. All I know is she's going to be the most amazing mum. He has been like a little kid ever since he found out the news. This is absolutely fantablamundo. Let the games begin. Pete's just got back from a holiday in Cyprus with Princess and Junior. <laughs> Vista did her homework while we were away. My trip in Cyprus was really, really fun. One of the days we went swimming and saw a praying mantis. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, um, place you can get your car fixed. His holiday may be over, but Pete's about to be off on his travels again. This time heading to Zanzibar for a six-day charity cycle ride. The reason I'm doing the Zanzibar trip is because Dr. Rue, which is Emily's dad, he is the founder or co-founder of HIPS, which is Health Improvement Project Zanzibar. Oh, I'm in bed. People are dying left, right and centre because the healthcare is so bad. So I've come on board as an ambassador. I'm really proud to be an ambassador. And we're trying to raise as much money as we can. It's a cause close to Pete's heart as he visited the island last year with Emily. But this trip will mean he's again spending time away from her. I'm going to be revising. You're going to revise, Edge? Yeah. All right. I can't wait to be back in Zanzibar. I mean, obviously, Emma's not going to be there, but she's got her big, big exams. So in a way, it's almost probably a good thing that I'm not here because she's got to really concentrate. Yeah, hello. At the same time, I haven't seen her for nearly a week, and I'm going to see her for one night, and then I'm not going to see her again for two weeks. What, are you upset? Yeah. Um, we just got back. Oh, the heart of my ear. Get out of the way. my ear. I'll give you a set of keys. It's time for Pete to catch his flight to Zanzibar. Joining him on the 300-kilometer cycle ride are best friend Carl and brother Mike. She can do some drawing, and I've got to say goodbye to them. And as usual, Pete's poor timekeeping means he's running late. Fierce. Bump. Dad's got to go. Come on, dude. Yeah, a bit of madness. We've only been planning the trip for a year. Oh, just quickly, I don't need help this stuff. It'll take me two seconds. I've got all American money and I want it just... Yeah, you need American money. That's what I'm taking. I've just got to make sure I do it. No, we've got to go. Come on. Uh, we should have left at quarter to five and now it's 20 to six. And we're meeting everybody at six. Oh, Yanni, Yanni, I forgot to tell you, right? This is the phone for the kids. Okay. Pete's going to be away for 10 days, so friends Yanni and Paul are looking after the children. I really appreciate that you do this. It's just, it's the first time I'm away, Mike's away, Danny's in Australia, Chris is working, and the kid's mum has gone away. So it's the first time that everyone has been away, ever. And I've got to go do the bike ride, and I'm going to be late. Shall we go? Just Pete! Bags packed, there's just time to hunt down the children. Bista, I love you. I'm going to see you in 10 days. Come here, Babs. <laughs> and this, Bista, is for you. And this. Look. OK, thank you, Dad. Thanks, Dad. I want you to do your homework before you go to bed. 
Where's Junior? Junior? Quick, dude, quick. I've got to say goodbye to Junior. Yes. Right. Quick, quick. Give me a cuddle. Oh. Oh. I love you very much, right? <laughs> be good, be good. This is going to be one hell of a trip, Michael Andre. We're off to Zanzibondre. And me, Michael Andre, and Carl Machin are going to do some blood, sweat, and tears. One person not joining the guys today is Emily's father, Dr. Roo, who, despite organising the trip, now needs to stay behind with wife Bex. Dr. Roo uh, can't come to Zanzibar all of a sudden. I mean, he's been planning this for well over a year, or as Carl would say, a year. Um, and he, he, uh, he's the one that, that's been the backbone of the whole thing. And like, yesterday, um, Bex was playing hockey and ball smacked her and uh, has fractured part of her hair above her eye and I don't know what's gone on and she had to go to A&E last night so Rue's not coming now. He might come Sunday. He might come Sunday hopefully. We're devastated. So who's taking charge of this whole thing? Me? Oh no. Who's taking charge? I've got schedules and everything. Keen for an update, Pete rings Emily. way to the airport we're gonna miss you I cannot believe the one that was supposed to be with us is your dad and he's not coming oh, how is she I don't know I haven't managed to get a hold of her but she's had a CT scan so she's not gonna go until at least Saturday evening which means he won't be with you till Sunday or Monday Emily yes I'm gonna miss you very much sweetie Hi. I love uh, I'll spit it out. Callage to Nightage when landage in Africa. Callage to Nightage when landage in Africa. Okay, loveage, later, Rich. Well, this is it. This is where the journey begins. We are at the airport. We're about to board the plane to go to Zanzibar. It's going to be tough, but you know. We're going to do it. We're very excited. But uh, we're on our way. See you on the other side. Coming up, Pete's given a word of warning. Punctuality. If people are late, we will not wait. Before he parties the night away. Oh, you have a lovely bunch of coconuts. I just had a little merriness about me. And the people here are the best. Best known for its spices, spectacular coral reefs and dreamy beaches, Zanzibar is an island paradise nestled just off the coast of East Africa. But with just one main hospital and a life expectancy of only 47 years, it's also a country suffering from a very poor healthcare system. And after nearly 24 hours of travel, double, double. Double, double. Pete and the rest of the charity cyclists have just touched down. We are doing a bike ride for charity to help money for the, the hospitals. The journey was long. I mean, there was three different planes. Uh, it was it was a long one. What's up, baby? We're here. First time in Zanzibar. First time in Tanzania. First time in Africa. You don't have to. Oh, I got a Peugeot for free. I got a Peugeot. I didn't have to pay for it. Joke. Uh, no, I got a Peugeot and I didn't have to pay for it because it's a free car. Bags collected, it's time to head for the hotel. Hey, Feels like I've just stepped into paradise, really. And it's nothing like I've ever seen before. It's beautiful, man. So nice to be here, man. Honest to goodness. And it's very weird not being here with uh, the Rue family, but it's great. It's great to be back. It really is. While Pete settles in at the hotel, back at the airport, there's